And yes, I do see the whole fact that there is a train speeding towards me and... Oh! Wait, that was a weird bounce. Oh, hi! It's that time once again. We have a Brick Rigs update. Oh my goodness, I'm excited about this one. So yeah, this update is in the uh, experimental branch right now, and I'm assuming it'll come out uh, relatively soon, but you guys can opt into the beta in order to try this out. So there are a couple key features that I want to check out today. Now, there are quite a few builder features. Uh, you have the ability to enter vehicles without seats. Uh, there, there's new seats and bricks, and there's a customizable light brick, which I really look forward to seeing those in some of the creations. Now, what I'm covering here today, uh, hold on, wait for it. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that, that's a feature there, but that, that's not what I'm covering here today. But they did add lights to the, uh, the buildings out there, which I think that's pretty cool. What I'm covering are two main components. We have weapons and we have trains. So the weapon part is really awesome. I've been playing around with this a bit. So we have all of our standard weapons. You have the BR-15, the sniper, the desert worm, and the rocket launcher. But there is a neat thing that you can do with some of these weapons. So let's say the Desert Worm. So that's our little handgun. And folks, yes, that is two places for customization. And look, we have a suppressor. And we have paints. So yeah, you can paint your guns. So say you want a navy paint, just place that in there. And boom, look at this thing. This is a nice looking gun here. It is suppressed. So yes, it is quite silenced. I mean, a lot of people think suppressor means completely silent, and that's just not a thing. Uh, but yeah, you can hear it. Uh, hold on, let me take the barrel off. That way you can compare the uh, sound. Honestly, it doesn't seem that different. Maybe from the first person, it's different. Actually, probably a better test would be the BR-15. So this is unsilenced. I'm going to be quiet here. I'm going to look at the decibels on my recording. So it goes to about negative 35 decibels. So if I were to place a silencer on said gun... There we go. So yeah, it actually reads about five decibels lower. Not bad. I like that. Also, I do really like the whole fact that you can paint these two, so you can get like the uh, the fire one. Uh, that is a pretty sweet paint job. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, so the suppressor can go on both the BR-15, the Desert Worm, and no, you cannot suppress the rocket launcher as much as I want to. But you can suppress the sniper rifle. So yeah, you can now fully customize this. Say you want a suppressor. Uh, say you want the sniper scope or you can do the hollow sight, whatever you want. And then we'll paint this thing. Uh, maybe we can paint it. Let's go with the forest paint. Do I look camouflaged enough? Hold on. Let's try this again. Let's go and take the clothes off here and boom. You know, actually, if you were way over here, yeah, Bob kind of does look camouflaged. You know what I'd like to see? Can we get face paints? I mean, if he sets in the right position, he's going to be hard to spot. Uh, especially the whole fact he doesn't have his bright red shirt on anymore. Hold on, let's uh, see what this looks like. Hold on, let's shoot it. Oh, that's satisfying. I love the whole fact that they've added a suppressor to this. This is cool. Uh-oh, I've spotted the target. I don't know how much bullet drop we're going to have here. I would like if the sniper rifle actually had a little bit better setup and maybe a little bit more of a way to zoom in and customize it. Let's assume we're going to hit it here. Oh my goodness, the reload animation took over, but I just shot Dob and it actually worked on the first try. Okay, target reacquired and... Oh! Oh, that was over him. Oh! Oh, that was a good shot! Got him! <laughs> oh man, I love the projectile cam. Yeah, really liking what they've done with these. Now, there is one other weapon that is completely new here. I think I'm going to need to spawn in a small building. So, we have a vehicle shot by that author. By the way, this thing is fantastic looking. Holy man. Oh, uh, I think I just set off the security alarm. That's completely fine. Uh, let's open up one of these garages real quick. Oh so yeah, uh, there is a new incinerary grenade. Like heck yeah, I like catching stuff on fire. So I'm assuming this is going to look fairly cool. Oh, there it goes. Wait for it. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, can I do the projectile cam with this? Can I release it? Is it actually, oh, it doesn't follow. I think it. I thought there was a way to make this follow it, but yes, we have a grenade that catches stuff on fire. Oh, uh -huh, there's a little red barrel over there. I don't know if it's explosive or not. Uh-oh, I missed. Uh, it's fine. Let's get it in there. Fire in the hole. Oh, geez. I think we just, uh, we burned out the alarm, which is pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. It doesn't seem to really have the destructive elements that, say, the normal grenade would. Uh, say where it actually blows stuff up and pushes it back. Uh, it might be better to try it on a car. 
Say, for example, we have this 2020 Los Angeles Sheriff Ford Explorer. So we're going to place this right here. So we're on, uh, we're on two tests with this. Okay, test number one is going to be with the uh, grenade. Try to get it under it. Uh, that's pretty close right there. So yeah, it explodes. It does not push the car back. It just catches it on fire. Uh, that explosion was the engine. <laughs> so let's do the explosive grenade. Uh, obviously, you're wanting a little bit different results here. So clonk and under the car. That's pretty close. Uh, oh, that was really not close. Fine, Komodo's eventually going to hit this thing. Oh, that's off to the side. Okay, let's go. Boom. They both? Okay, you know what? Let's just go right here. We need plastic ex or sticky explosives, like sticky bombs. Uh, yeah, so that one actually uh, destroys stuff. So yeah, pretty cool uh, addition. I like that. So here's a really big thing, and I've been wanting this feature for a long time. As you know, the canyon map, there was a train spawn. You had the little uh, garage, you could spawn the train on the tracks, and it was awesome. I was like, why is this not a thing in the other cities? Well, now technically it is. So as you can see, this is now a garage. So all the train stations, which I think there's really only one in this map, uh, it is actually a spawn. So say if we were to grab a uh, train, so we have the F40PH, uh, this is by Yay Simon Says. And yeah, if I click this, watch what happens. Oh my goodness, it actually spawns it on the track. So not only the whole fact that you can now spawn stuff on the track in the city, uh, the train physics are actually better. You don't get as much of the jumping off the tracks. Like I've tested a couple trains out before this video just to see what kind of effect I would get and if I would still get that weird bounce. I'm pretty sure you could still go too fast around the corner like a real train. It will derail. You'll crash. Everybody would have a bad day. But still, this is so cool. I've wanted this for so long. Uh, so it should work in this one. And then I'm pretty sure the other city, it'll work there because that's got a train uh, garage too. And yes, I do see the whole fact that there is a train speeding towards me. And oh, wait, that was a weird bounce. That was not as like explodey as I was expecting it to be. So yeah, what happens when your train derails? Do you have to go all the way back to the uh, the little station to spawn it back? Well, no, folks, you don't anymore. Check this out. So in FCAM, when I'm holding spacebar down, if I get close to the tracks, look, it actually locks stuff to the tracks. So I can change the direction of the train like that. And now we can go. We are going once again. They've now officially made uh, Brick Briggs a more legit brick building toys, uh, whatever simulator things but yeah this actually makes it to where i want to use trains like i loved using trains in the canyon and we used to do really cool challenges where we'd create big train crashes but it was such a pain getting the train just to that point uh so yeah this has made this a whole lot better and i'm actually i want to play with big trains now you're probably asking the next thing well there's a train already on the track so we just gonna have collisions the whole time you can turn off the AI train. I don't know if anybody knew that this was a thing, but yes, go, nope. And then I think, I don't know if we have to restart the level uh, or if it automatically turns off. You know, I've never once wanted to actually turn off the train. Actually, I think it's gone. But yeah, the train's off. So you don't have to worry about like, say you want to actually manage your own train, get a passenger train. Uh, you're playing a role play server, which I kind of want to do a video where we have actual, uh, like passenger carts and yeah you could stop at the stations pick up people and then take right back off now i really do hope uh that the creator adds some sort of almost like train yard i don't know if train switchers uh could be a thing uh say for instance on this map i feel like there's an empty area maybe here uh well actually i think it's probably one of the only empty areas that's got a nice little like almost straight section and it's nice and flat over here like it'd be nice to have multiple like uh sections of rail uh, over and say you can have trains parked in like sheds and you can pull them out onto the main rail uh, i feel like that'd be cool and also if maybe since the map's so big now and i don't know if it's ever going to be a plan i'm just speaking for myself as somebody that likes the game would love to see some of this stuff if maybe there was another switch and there was a wider uh rail that went all the way around the track here maybe through the mountains maybe there's like a tunnel or something like i feel like if there was multiple lines that would be actually really cool and heck, say you wanted to run a metro train. Maybe you can get one more switch that just kind of diverted directly through a uh, town. Uh, maybe it was elevated. Uh, honestly, having an elevated line would be really cool and have like a station uh, maybe up here with the spawn. 
But that's just ideas. I'm just happy that we've gotten this far. You know, we still have to cause a horrible train crash. I mean, it is a Komodo video, so uh, it's so satisfying that that just snaps to the track. By the way, I don't know what system. Uh, you would obviously probably want to use the same train from the same creator, but like, say if I grabbed a double-decker car here, what does the connector look like on this? This is the same connector. So if I were to like, I don't know, put this one on the track. Yeah, these look like they're a little off from each other. So definitely using, oh, it's still engaged, but now the train is like off the track a bit. Yeah, definitely searching for a compatible system with each other. Yeah, it's not gonna roll now. <laughs> I mean, but you get the point. Like this is a thing that is possible. Don't worry, I turned the train back on. I just wanna see a horrible collision here. This is uh, a passenger car, it's really nice too. You can fully walk through it. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Like, I can only imagine the possibilities of trying to set one of these up in online servers. Probably will go bad. All right, here we go. And... Bunk. Oh, my goodness. It's pushing it back. Oh, there it goes. That is what I'm wanting to see. Uh, oh, ultimate train devastation, and it's flying through the sky. Getting a little bit of lag, actually. That's surprising. <laughs> yep, we've had a uh, train collision here. But... That just shows you that there is a lot of promise. Hopefully this update comes out uh, once it's uh, probably got a couple little bugs fixed. But like I said, go ahead. You can try it out right now.